Hey guys, and welcome to the Inter House Born Goes to Star League round of 6 32, I'm guessing. Is that what we're calling this? Group stage? Group stage? It's something like that. 16 players, no. Yeah, 16 players. So let's take a round of 16. Fuck okay. it. That'll do. So, yeah. With me, uh, with my trusty co caster, is Rhett. Wanna promote yourself? Hey guys, how's it going? I may not be the dankest memester, but I'm gonna do my best to make this an interesting day for uh, for our players, and hopefully we'll get some pretty amazing games. Yeah, yeah, we're just gonna get the vetoes done. Our first match is between um, Sam Hasu, um, also known as Savage Sam. Just up here in the corner, you probably see me over over. And Narwhal. So this is going to be a ZVP as our first matchup. So this should be a nice little tester for everything. And as everyone knows, hopefully they should know, my name is Athale, and I am the in-house caster for Born Gosu. So got some people in the chat. We are on a delay, so there's no stream sniping or any shenanigans going on. We don't want that because shenanigans are bad. <laughs> You know, I would hope that in an intramural clan uh, clan activity, you wouldn't have uh, people stoop into that sort of thing. But you know, cheeky, cheeky stuff. Yeah, you never know. You just never know. But uh, I tell you what, bear with us, guys. We've got Rhett has got a bit of a cough. Myself, I have um, a cold. I've got an ear infection. So we are battling it today. Plenty of liquids and just plenty of tablets to try and get us through this marathon of casting. Uh, just let you know what's going on. After every best of three, we are going to have a small interview with the winner. Ask him how the games went, what he'd like to improve, what he's um, looking forward to in the next round, etc. etc. Just get their insights. That should take a couple of minutes to set up. In the meantime, we'll just like go AFK for a bit and uh, get some like, tunes going while we're doing that so we can hopefully get that sorted this is a bit of a um, arse about face way of things the guy who was meant to be hosting the stream unfortunately um, is AFK at the moment so this is a bit of a last minute thing for myself to be hosting it as usual so we're just getting the vetoes done and I gotta say Ethel, I'm really stoked about this uh, cough and all yeah, and yeah, yeah. and you know what and you know what's really what's driving this for me? It's the map pool. This is not going to be a standard uh, tournament ladder map pool of common maps. This is the dream pool, or as some people might call it, the cancer pool. The voted on the by animals. voted on by the players and the fans to see you know uh, open open season on any map ever published by Blizzard. We've got some great ones we've got some wings of liberty ones that you know would never see the light of day today we've got steps of war that's all you need to know this is going to be amazing i'm so looking forward to it fair enough fair enough we just have one of our players going afk momentarily um so just bear with us we're going to chat a little bit more unfortunately Rhett doesn't have a webcam so we couldn't set that up for you guys but hopefully next time we get a cast going we'll have two ugly faces for you guys to look at rather than just mine and i apologize for that but we're wow. going to have a amazing best of three times four our first match is going to be um, Savage Sam versus Narwhal. Our second one is going to be Shine versus Ash Ketchup, a fellow Brit, so whoop, whoop, broke for the home team. Then it's going to be Marshu versus a Yubu, and then it's going to be Wobs23 versus Swift Warrior. So, got some epic matches. Maybe a couple of one sided ones, maybe a couple of upsets. Let us know what you think in the chat, who's going to do what. Let us know who you're really voting for. Let's get some hype in the chat, because we are nearly here. We are getting ready. We are counting this one down, ladies and gentlemen, for the epicness that is the Born Gusu Star League. And more than that, chat, we want to know who will be dankest. If you were here last week for our uh, for the best of, se of seven show match, 
you know that the games were completely non-standard. And this was on the uh, ladder maps. So when you add in the uh, the insanity of of uh, Steps of War and all of the old uh, dream pool of uh, of dreams and nightmares, who knows what will happen? Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. I can't wait for this. I'm really excited, really stoked. Even though I'm feeling ill, that's why we're here. We love the game, we love the team. And if you're new to it, you're not part of the Born Gosu scene, hit us up. We're on Facebook at Born Gosu. We're on Twitter at hashtag Born Gosu. And we've also got our own website, which is www.borngosu.com. So hit us up on all those forms of social media and the website. Have a look around. If you're clanless and want to go in a league, we do do this uh, Chobo Team League as well. So we do sometimes host them on streams. So if you're looking to get into a team, please drop us a line. Say hello to everyone in chat. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. And guys, if you're watching in chat, feel free to... Rep the uh, rep the stream, rep it on the CTL website. Let your friends know. Let other people in uh, some of the other clans know that there's some dank stuff going on here. Yeah, and they yep, may yep. want to watch. For sure, for sure, for sure. We are now getting invited into the first match, and it's going to be on Yonsu. Yonsu. Oh my God, this is danky, danky, dank. Um, Savage Sam has picked Terran for some reason, so. We're doing this. I think he'll fix that, I, I hope. hope so. Yeah, 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 I hope so. Um, using the WCS um, overlay. And today we are having um, our own special caster for today. When he gets... Are you invited? Are you in? I fail controls it. What? What are they saying? Hold on. He's saying you're ref. And um, then basically, if they're asking for pause, PP. Yeah, 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 fine. Okay, who is our is Skyhook? Um, I think Skyhook's observing, isn't he today? Should be. Isn't Skyhook ninety three? Yeah, 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 yeah. That is. Right, so we're all ready, and we're going to this. So, we will catch you soon, momentarily. See you soon, guys. Okay, I did a little bit late on the intro, but here we are. I've just got to set the camera up. How do I set this up on this? I have no idea. On the UI... It's the first time I've done it, so if I've you, not done it before. The numbers across the top of your uh, your keyboard will correspond to player view. You just have to find that one and two are the players, and then after that is observers. You just have to find the one that is um, Skyhook. Right, Skyhook, can you go and look in the bottom left for me, please? Yep, I've got Skyhook on. So, now he's looking at the Zoe player. Good, good, good. Oh, you might have me. Oh, I might have you. So there, four... I'm going to look, look in the middle right now. Well, I can only it see... should be. I'm on Hugo. Right. Okay. Sorry about this, guys. Can everyone else on their cameras look at um... Narwhal? No, I can only get three and four. Five isn't one. He won't be picked up. It's not working. I don't know why. Okay. So we'll have to wait for this. I. I... Well, there should only be two others because you can't go to bind to your own camera, right? Okay, can you move left and right for me, please, uh, um, Skyhook? No, I've got okay, Skyhook. I'm gonna just okay, go top. we've got it, we've got it. Okay, so, sorry about this, guys, technical difficulties. Chobo here, Chobo. Spawning in the bottom left of Yonsu, we are having the Red Protoss Savage Sam. And spawning in the top right, also repping Born Gosu in the yellow trunks, we have the dank hots two hat three hatch before pool build. It's the memer narwhal. Three hatch before pool. This is really weird because I'm used to like touching everything and everything else. So this is good. Three hatch before pool. Old style map. 
Love this map when I was playing. Absolutely fantastic. Really looking forward to this. We've got an expand coming up as well for Savage Sam. He's going to be a behind on the economic front. Will he go into a bit more of an aggressive build? I'm guessing he's going to throw down, though, the Stargate. He's a big fan of that Stargate play. I'm really interested in seeing how the legacy units and balance changes impact on this map because it was a big uh, big part of the ladder pool for the early mid part of HOTS. Uh, it was pretty popular at the time, but uh, is not really in the style of how maps look today. No, Everything no, from the, sure. the resource count to the number of bases. It's kind of a small map by today's standards. Yeah, you can take, like for Zoe, you can take those three bases quite comfortably. You can go down to that fourth, um, which little like pocket fourth you've got, which you can defend relatively well as a Zerg if you get your creep spread going out early on. Um, Protoss is a little bit, maybe a little bit easier now with Photon Overcharge on the on the pylons. I don't know, but we've just got three gates coming up for Narwhal, getting a little bit more aggressive in the opening. I'm hoping because there's not going to be a lot of production up initially because he's going to be droning heavily for now so oh, it's a very safe opening uh he's going to throw down his robo so no uh ultra aggressive sort of uh, oracle or that sort of thing is oh narwhal oh, okay never mind pneumatized carapace looks like he may want to do bane drops yeah yeah There's he's been doing map. this quite a bit when well, i was speaking to um savage sam before and he's like yeah he does this strat a lot on this map it's going to hit quite hard. I mean, he's got a Stalker on patrol. That's really good. Stalker on patrol, um, just to spot that coming in, but there's nothing so far on the um, on the natural. Just Chrono boosting out that Well, look at the dead air. I mean, look at the dead air behind the natural. Even yeah. if you had a Stalker on patrol from the rocks, it could, uh, an overlord could easily, easily sneak around. And he's definitely going to commit to this a little, at least a little bit because there's no lair. No, that Overlord is not going to go, he's not going to drop into the natural, so he's only doing literally one drop into the main, which is definitely going to be spotted, and he's going to then send some lings out. He loves this little all-in opening. With a three hatch before pool, normally it's off two base taking the third afterwards, but he's done a variation on this, probably had a look at this map and gone, actually no, you know what, this is going to hit hard, so I'm just going to do it off three base. Oh, I think what he's going to do is he's going to pressure the front. Uh, he's pressuring the front now. Make it look like. Links. Make it look like. Yeah, he's got enough banes to try and make it look like a. Uh, like he's committing to a baneling bust, and then when. Uh, oh, the Savage front base Sam is going to go for that pile. Is he going to go for those? Oh, he's pulling back off the main. We've got all we see is this drop. And now he's in. sending in the drop. Yep. Now he's sending in the drop. Oh my! Here it comes, boys. Here it comes, One, boys. Two. Oh. oh, good splitting. Oh. Good splitting. So yeah. Only three workers. So, where do you see workers killed? Three. Huh? Control R. Control R. There we are. Units killed only three. That's not too bad, actually. So that was a good little hold. He's now got a lot of pressure at the front. He's got some lings moving around at the top. It looks like he's going to do some ling drops into the back of the net, which I'd like to see. Um, we've got a... Oh, where's he going with that overlord? Oh, no. He's not. What's he doing? I'm confused now. He's dropping it. Oh, he's mainly dropping again. He's mainly dropping again. Yeah. I mean, to be honest now, with no lair, with um, with Sam on about to be, well, on two uh, two immortals, getting getting ready for to draw, to use them for drop harass, there's no lair for mutas. There's going to be maybe queens and, and spores. No spores, obviously, right now. Uh, I think advantage shifts back to Sam. Yeah. I think you're right. Big time. No real economic damage done. He's still on two bays against a three. He's not droning up. He's now droning up. Wow. Massive round of drones, which may not be the best thing with these two immortals coming down, because these lings are going to just eat away at the shields, and that's it. The pickup micro is going to be great. He's going to drop these two now. Narwhal sees this coming down. Two drones already going down, and the hatchery is going to be focused. If this hatchery goes down, then this will be a massive blow. Nope. I think... Oh, he doesn't go for the hatchery. He goes up into the natural where the lings are waiting. He didn't break down the rocks. Oh, that's a bit of a trouble now. He's, if he's got the rocks, he's going to go all the way round. And he's targeting down his third. And I think Narwhal's just letting him have it. I think he's going to take it. Okay. Um, I, I, I thought Narwhal was considering whether to go for uh, a follow-up uh, 
plus one Ling Bane all in after the uh, drops didn't really produce satisfactory results. But then he did go and drone up uh, a round of drones and produce a lair. So uh, the biggest thought I can have now is if he survives this push, whether oh, he'll be forced Bane to Oh, coming in. Oh, all massive hit on the adepts at the front, but then he needs to move him back. If this warp prison went up into the main and did some little bit of harass into the mineral line as well, that would be that. But these he's kind of trapped his own units here. Queen's going up to the high ground to DPS from down. Ling's coming in. <laughs> Again, oh no, oh, it's complete surround of the Banelings. Oh. Massive hit for the Banelings, but there's not a lot of Zerglings left over. There's only these two Immortals, but they're getting dropped into the main. There's going to be a little bit of a Immortal um, pokey pokey around here. Oh, and he's. Oh, the Queen's focus firing down that. Is he going to get it? Oh, yeah, three more Adepts coming out. And yeah. all you've got is 16 Zerglings, and these Adepts are doing a lot of work. Drones being pulled off the line. This is everything. Here come the drones. He's picking up and he's getting away. He saved the immortals onto the low ground. Oh, lovely little micro play there from Savage Sam. He's coming down. Yeah, oh, and nice. he's pulling back now. He doesn't have the round. Oh, here comes those bailings and zerglings from that drop from earlier. If he's going to pull this over, is he going to drop on them? He needs to drop. No, what are you doing? No, he's building eight more, um, ten more links, three more. Banelings, and you know he's what? just moving. I think he's done it. I think that he's done overlord, this game. That overlord is only there, I think, because uh, Narwhal f 2 He yeah. didn't actually plan to drop it on them. Yep. Oh no, these Banelings are out in the open. They're not. Act oh, they're getting target fired down, and these Lings got to wrap oh, around. Oh, now it comes. Here it comes. GG, well played. First game going to Savage Sam, our Red Protoss. Well met, Protoss Arena. Well met. But anyway, well played. Well played to our beautiful Protoss there, Sam. He was playing earlier today on ladder. I was watching him a bit, and he played very well. So yeah, we, we tilt him a little bit in the chat. So we have got um, our first game underway, and it is a 1-0 lead to Savage Sam. Just kind of worried. What's he going to do now? I mean, that strat is very powerful if the Bane's hit, but I'd prefer to see the natural getting hit rather than the main. I, I, I think, yeah, he chose... Well, it's obvious what he wanted to do. He wanted to uh, draw the army to the front of the natural and then drop in the back. Although four Baneling drops on that map, um, it probably would have been better to drop in the natural as well, too. Uh, but... You know, full credit to uh, Savage Sam. He split his uh, probes like a pro. I mean, he only lost three, but if you look at how many were in the red and got hit by one Bane lane, yeah. it was at least another ten. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If that could... other Bane that hadn't it got killed by the Stalker had actually hit the other probes, it would have been a completely different story. You would have looked at a, a massive economy de deficit. The thing about um, where Narwhal, after his all-in, didn't work, if he hadn't of... Um, not kept going. I think he should have Bane Ling busted the front and take around those gateways um, or at least try and get some more economic damage. Keep Savage Sam on the back foot possibly but he, he that fast third did nothing for him and that's like 300 minerals of nothing. He could have gone into a quick attack and possibly gone up into roaches or something. It, it was an all in. So. Uh, I, I think he was doing it for a larva because he was making uh, like exclusively Ling Bane which, um, so he wasn't really planning to mine from it all that much, and I think he was, his gas income was not super high on, in terms of the amount of banes you need to bust down a, a gateway wall. Uh, but I think, you know, if he was going to follow up with, uh, with an all, uh, Ling Bane all-in, maybe with plus one, that might have made sense, but um, he kind of vacillated a bit, where he had a period where he wasn't, getting a lair, which made it look like he was going to go for an all-in, but then he got a round of drones and a lair, and right at, like, uh, t 20 seconds after that, Sam came across the map with his full army. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, it's a lovely counter-push by Sam, perfectly timed. But there were some banelings in this Overlord. If he'd actually drop them onto that low HP army, I think he would have killed at least one of the Immortals and one of the Adepts but I still think he had too much to deal with it. I really do. Couple well, the perils of F2, man. Yeah, a couple more queens, because he had the minerals. I think he should have queened up quite heavily on this map, because there's a lot of open space between your main and natural, and if queens are staggering down, they are waddling about. 
Um, so, yeah. Okay, we just had a bit of a break, guys, just to let you know what's going on. Savage Sam just had five minutes just to calm his nerves after that first game because he told me he wasn't super confident going into this against Narwhal because he knows Narwhal is a good player. So with that 1-0 up, he must be super excited. And that was a pretty, uh, pretty decisive... Pretty decisive game in a lot of ways, so I mean, I can understand his nervousness, but I hope he's takes some confidence from that and knows that, you know, he can he can play. And Narwhal is being the good sport that he is, saying that uh, no, he expects to get smashed by Sam. So obviously, these guys both uh, see their opponents as as worthy yep. of their time. Yep, 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 yep. I mean, Sam today was playing against um, well on the new maps. This is what I'm thinking, the new maps. Um, and the roaches were kind of when they were doing all in roach pushes off three base and just roach 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 nash them a roach he was dying to it um but to be fair um i think he's a great player and he's been playing really well he's ranked two in diamond right now or ranked three in diamond so he's near enough masters as you can say so we're just getting into game number two of this best of three and this born goes to star league Hit up us up on um, hit it on Reddit, hit it on your social medias, hit it on Facebook. Let's get some more people interested. Let's get some people going. And there is prize money for this. We haven't been given the ins and outs of the mat and the totals, but there is money involved. So it's not just a in-house thing for no reason. But, yeah. Money and a little bit of money and probably a lot of glory. For sure, for sure, bragging rights. Right, we will see you in ten. GG. <laughs>Okay, guys, we are back, going into game number two. So we are on... Oh, no, Narwhal's on zero, sorry. Getting the overlays done. There we are, so... So, spawning in the bottom left corner, we have the yellow Zerg player. It is Borgosu's Narwhal. And in the top left... Coming back to uh, from his uh, shaking hands to show us what he got, and we know he's got a ton. It's the winner of the last game, up one to zero, playing Protoss, Savage Sam. And we are on the map Overgrowth. This is a very Protoss favored map. Immortal Sentry Orlins were my bane on this map because you're taking your third, trying to get your eco up, and then they just come round that little corner, and boom. Good night, sweetheart. Even if you got Hydras, even if you got Investors, you ain't stopping it. But we've got Hatch First for Narwhal, we've got Extractor, and all sound openings for Savage Sam. It looks like one gateway expand. Yeah, Very standard. Yeah. But I mean, this is also, it, it may be slightly Protoss favorite, but this was also you know, one of the beloved maps of the pool in its time, and it stayed around for, for ages. The fact that we're still talking about maps today in terms of, you know, the overgrowth of this current pool and so on shows that it was uh, a Everyone map with a lot of impact it. on yeah, the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did like playing Terran on this map because you could hold your third quite comfortably. You could take a fourth quite comfortably. Um, your fifth was a long way away. Um but creep spread is all important on this map if you're going into the late game because there is a lot of area to cover between the natural and the third and the fourth and the fifth as a zerg and with the is today i don't know what are the, are the minerals are they the same the mineral patches have the same amount or i don't know they should so do they get up yeah, all maps have the same mineral patches. Yes, so, okay. Yeah. Just, like, just like how all maps start with the larger number of drones. Yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so things are going to mine out quite quickly again, so it should be good fun to see. Got speed coming down, what, a couple no, of queens. No three hour swarm host games? <laughs> yeah, uh, swarm hosts on this map. Oh my god. But they are uh, they are getting swarm hosts back into the game, hopefully, because I did love swarm host play. Yeah. A lot of people didn't, especially Protoss. But can we do but anyway so you say so, so, so standard opening just gateway expand nothing shenanigans no um, 
robo, fast robo, no fast sky tech, nothing like that, just standard, 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 which I like. I would say both players are basically opening exactly as they did last time. Now we'll see if uh, Sam throws down a robo. Uh, Third base from Narwhal coming out, a little bit later this time, and he is, seems to be going into a plus one one Ling, I'd like to oh. say. We're heading towards a five gate. Ooh, this He sees two of the gates with his overall. Can he see three? I don't know. What's his vision like? We can see two. He can see four of them. No, we can see all of them, actually. Let's just have a look. Oh, yeah, he can. Yeah, he scouted this. Yeah, he has. Yeah. So, yeah, he can. He can see four. Uh, three of them there. And those ones are going to be on the top, so... Yeah, he scouted them all. I mean, it looks like... It looks like... He's gonna go for... Uh, double upgraded... Double upgraded Lings. I don't know if he wants to add Ravagers or whatever to that. Um, problem is, is that Sam's gonna be coming across the map with... Five gates. Yeah. He's going... Very, uh, very He's quickly. got Roaches coming out. He's got plus one, one on the way. He's got Lair on the way. He's got six Zerglings. I mean, Sam is still pumping out... Um, probes right now. He's building center. Oh, double Stargate coming down by Sam. What is this build? Is this for late Phoenix or Void Race? Okay. Um, so what I think this might actually be is that um, Sam was not actually intending to do sort of a massive uh, cross map push with these five gates. He wanted to instead ensure he had a pretty tight wall off just because of the wider natural. Yeah, and yeah, the yeah, double yeah. gate the double gate is for Phoenix. So maybe he'll poke off of this, but he's not actually going to commit. You got the Overlord coming in. He sees all the gateways and the, the Mother of course sees it as well. He sees there's no third base. Now we'll see there's no third from Sam. So he sees a lot of gateways, but he doesn't see the main. This is the thing. He's got roaches, he's got lings, but these phoenixes with plus 1 are going to do a lot of damage. You got the hydrogen coming down as well. But these phoenixes, with two coming out, both being chrono boosts, this is going to hit hard, and it's going to hit fast. Roach speed, hydroden, uh, baneling speed. Narwhal seems to be getting everything, uh, everything but the kitchen sink. He's yeah, going to have roaches, hydras, potential really to get hard. ravagers, ling bane. Yeah. But he needs to identify these uh, phoenix somehow. I know, he's got no overlords on the right-hand side of the map. He's got only that one on the natural. He hasn't seen it. Oh, he's going to see it now. With the with the Ling on the um, Zalnaga watchtower, he's going to see it now. And he's going to see them come in. Is he going to throw down some spores? He hasn't got any spores coming down yet. He's, gonna, oh, he's got one coming down, two coming down, three coming down now. So, yeah, he's still pumping out drones. Sam sees... Oh, he's going to lose a lot of overlords here. They're out of position. Even though they have the Neuropide, Neuropide Carapace. And the thing with this is that by only sending out four of the Phoenix, I don't think uh, Narwhal will necessarily pick up that it's double Stargate. Okay, no. well, if he's, if he's smart, he may now, because he's seeing two at a time show yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, for sure. He now sees the extra ones, but all these overlords are forfeit. Anything on the map is forfeit now for him. He's going to be kept back. He's so overlord supply cap. He's 70 over 58, so this has hit him without real... Oh, loses one Phoenix. That was a bit sloppy there by Sam. Should have separated them off, but... Another Overlord going down. Yeah, does go down. This is... Oh, this is cheeky play. Still hasn't taken his third, though. If there's anything positive to this, it's that Narwhal had already thrown down the Hydra Den long before... Basically about the time that the double Stargate went down. Um, so he kind of blind had the tech available. He's already finished Hydra range. Uh, so he's we've got, got a push out now coming the from Sam. Here. This is this is going to hit quite hard. We've got a lot of Phoenix in the air. How many Phoenix has he got now? So let's have a look. Uh, I can't even remember what the keys are. Oh, it doesn't. Uh, units. There we are. He's got eight Phoenix. Eight. That's a lot of Phoenix. He's only going to have a few Hydras. He's got three at the moment. Another few on the way. He's got another four on the way. So this is. Ten Hydras is still not enough. They're going to get picked up in Shrek. Oh, he's taken the third away from where you'd think. Oh. So Sneaky. Does, does Narwhal think, oh, this is this is another, this is just two base push, mass units. 
He's got these lings on scout, and it's really nice, but he's not scouting for that third. He only got one scout. <sighs> No, I think uh, I think for Narwhal, he's been producing pure units for at least the last minute, minute and a half or so, mm -hmm. and he's on 52 workers. So ideally, he wants a little bit more. Um, the Phoenix knocked out his Overlord coverage, and the units knocked out his Ling coverage. So he's not going to expect there to be a third. He's expecting a two base, uh, two base all in or two base major pressure. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think yeah, I think you're 100% right there. Um... I just... Oh, this poor poor drone trying to take the gold yeah, where all the Protoss units are currently this... sitting. Good night. Good night. Where's the drone? Where's the unlucky drone? Oh, he's good. Oh, he's, he's setting up a nice flank with these banes. Yeah, yeah, he's seen it. Oh, the Phoenix has spotted it. He's going to get force field. No, he's not. Oh, oh huge yeah. detonation with the bane. He's taken oh out half God. the army. All the sentries bar two going down. This is catastrophic this is... for Sam. He's not picking up any of the Phoenixes. Um, oh this my is God. This is all... She... Oh no, these phoenixes are taken on, but this is a lot of gas lost in the sentries. Lots of gas. He's now just pumping up more and more units. He's got the queen here. He's got... He's got energy on the phoenixes. And they're just sitting there getting... Oh, eaten away. There's another sloppy loss. But that baning hit really hit him off kilter. He didn't realise it was coming. Saw the phoenixes with, with it, but... I don't know. He's got the third base up now. He is not... Probing? He's just void. Oh, he's now probing. Excuse me. Now I've said it. But... So, um, Sa uh, Savage Sam is going to transition into uh, double Robo Bay. He wants to go for Immortal Charge Lot, and looks like Void Ray. Yeah, um, the Void Gaze are on the way, and a plenty well, of actually, adepts. He's he's keeping with adepts instead of Charge Lot. So I was expecting that. You know, usually the transition is Immortal Charge Lot Archon, but I don't he's going to do his own thing. I don't yeah. honestly think he's got... Oh, he's going to lose the magic core! Oh, that's big! No more Foden Overcharge. We can just let these go down. Let them time out. Coming in. And all he's doing is pumping out... Oh, these Immortals going down is a huge pick-off. The shields get yep. taken out. The Phoenix getting lifted up. The Adept are doing big work on the floor, but there is just not enough. With these two Voidaries coming out, they're not going to hold for Toffee. And it's GG! GG! An amazing game number two there from Narl, tied up the series 1-1. One, one. Really epic play there, guys. Really epic play. Fantastic one. So, brother, bringing it back. Two games so far? Two games so far, and both times, Narwhal gets money baneling hits on the Protoss army. Yeah, for and this sure. Time, and this time, unlike in game one, he had you know a solid uh, non-baneling force to follow up and actually clean up what was left. So, I mean, a great flank. And uh, Sam saw the real downside of that uh, that particular map. His expansion was in a great little cheeky forward spot that made it difficult to scout. And I think that tilted uh, Narwhal a bit. But when he actually came back across the map, it was real easy to access and really hard to defend. There were no chokes at all for the Protoss to use. No, no. And you... That came... I mean, with the how things are going, that Immortal Sentry push that I was talking about at the beginning of the game, it would hit a lot later than with the production. But these Phoenixes really took Narwhal by the surprise. I mean, that was really nice, but he didn't do any economic damage. He, he took out the Overlords, but at that point, you're just banking money then. You got your Hydras, you're doing your Queen Injects. He was doing them pretty damn well, apart from the third, but, but the Queen had quite a bit of energy. But at the end of the day, he had a lot of bank to then just Mass out hydras, or excuse me, oh, still feeling a bit ill. Yeah, Narwhal was definitely, I mean, <laughs> I remember it, uh, it looked like he was getting ready to throw everything at the kitchen sink at, uh, at Sam, because he, he had, uh, he had Roach Warren, he had Roach Speed, he had Hydra Den, he had Hydra Range, he had plus one, plus one melee, and gra uh, ground melee, and ground carapace, Lings, Bane Speed, um, so I guess he was just really prepping this so that he would have most of that uh, that lair tech, non muta lair tech available um, for whatever whatever came his way, and it actually turned out to be prescient because he had hydras with range available to be built before the phoenix reveal. So they still did fantastic damage, uh, but just not you know game ending catastrophic damage, and they were countered before. Uh, before they could do more than, say, really remove vision on the field and uh, take out a bunch of overlords. Yeah, yeah, I mean, he didn't move them at all, but... Big shout-out to our Observer here. Big shout-out to our Observer. 
Skyhook. The man who does not produce SCVs when he plays. But big shout out to him, doing a great job. Um, give him some love, guys, um, in the chat. Spam out those love. Spam out the love for our observer. It's saving me a job, which I'm always happy for, because I like to sit back and relax and just let them get on with it. Um, so, yeah, at the end of the day, we are really fortunate to have the team we've got. Rhett stepped in literally last minute, and a massive thank you. We meant to have a different um, caster with me today, but he couldn't make it. He was AFK, so Rhett, literally the last minute, like five minutes before the stream went live, said, oh, can you jump in? He said, yeah, yeah, that's no problem, and he's doing a fantastic job. So big props up to Rhett. Massive um, support for him in the chat, please, guys. Big love to him. Uh, no, it's not Team Liquid's rep. That would be fucking awesome. But, hey, we can't ask for everything, eh? <laughs> yeah, guys, if you want, you can follow my Twitter at at Liquid Yeah. <laughs> the tank memes are real. <laughs> oh, dear. And I'm at Liquid Nothing... Rhett as well. So we'll Nothing quite, uh, you know, wakes you up like uh, dank memes in the morning. Yeah, it plugged into the meme machine, so get the Nathanius um, Kappa Prides going in the chat. <laughs> but yeah, guys, thanks for bearing with us. Um, we just got a little bit of a downtime again. Sam is, um, I think he's uh, on a bit of a break. We've got our observers who are a coffee, so it keeps his nerves up to fighting form, getting that caffeine down him. You can probably hear my cat's bell in the background. She's scratching away there. Fucking thing. Shut up! And you did. So, yeah, so we've got a couple of minutes just for a downtime and see what's going on. So, please let us know what you feel in the chat. Always like to read your comments. Can't do it because we're on a delayed stream because obviously we don't want any stream starts or anything like that. Though we hope people wouldn't, but you never know. So, so what do you think of so far these two games? I think they've been pretty fun. Uh, both guys have obviously. Um, Playing and playing a little bit to their strengths and their styles. They have a base style that they seem to be really comfortable with. Uh, neither one going for any kind of like amazing early game cheese. Just kind of very confident expansions into sort of mid game mid game plans. Um, we'll have to see what the uh, what the map what the map is for the third time. And if we get something outrageous, we might get an outrageous game. But. Uh, uh, I'll be really interested to see if we get uh, if we get go, uh, Sam going back to the Stargate play, or he does like uh, his Stargate. To be fair, he really does. Mm. Do you know what the third map is? Like, I can't. Nothing. What was it said? Uh, I think they I think Sam said he wanted to think about it, okay. and then it was derailed by Skyhook getting coffee. Okay, Skyhook's back. Okay, guys, so, yeah, let us know. Give a shout-out to both these players. We've got at Liquid Rep and at Liquid Rep playing right now. And it's Savage Sam Narwhal. <laughs> so give a big shout-out. Spam that on Reddit. Get those dank memes going. Let's see some uh, cappers in the chat. And we're here. Oh. What are we doing? What are we doing? What map is it? We're getting invited. Entering lobby. Let's hype this up. It's Habitation Station. Blast from the past. But uh, it's all good fun. It's all good. So again, we have got a ZVP, not T. You can change that. Yeah, unless uh, Savage Sam is going to pull a Scarlet, right? Yeah. Oh my God! Did you see that game? I was so hyped. So hyped. Legendary game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, maybe maybe it's Habitation Station. He wants to play Terran because he's gonna do like uh, he's gonna do a float. Oh, float over to the gold base, yes, and just one base Classic. push. Yep, yep, yep. Just waiting on Sam at the moment. He seems to either be okay or got some people chatting, saying not very nice things. So just go down. This is a. I still. Yeah, 
Okay, now we're ready. We're ready. Ready? <coughs> Excuse me. Good stuff, good stuff. Come on, we got... You're ready, I'm ready. Narwhal, are you ready? Sam, are you ready? Skyhook's ready. I'm ready. The guys in the chat the are ready. Are ready. The meme machines are loaded and ready to fire. Come on. Skyhook, Sam's ready. Now is Narwhal ready? Are you ready, Narwhal? He's ready. Start Here we go. Game. Here we go, guys. Game number three on Habitation Station between Narwhal and Sam. See you in a bit. Okay, guys, here we are, back into game number three for this epic best of three, going to the wire. Um, and yeah, we have Narwhal in the top right as the Yellow Zerg. And the top left, Habitation Station, thinking about ways to exploit the gold bases on this map, Savage Sam. To be fair, I think they're both thinking of ways or, to exploit that gold base, because that is just tasty, probably. tasty. I have seen, Maybe we should like... rename him. <laughs> Maybe we should rename him Savage Savage Double Stargate Macon Wall Off Gateway Lovin' Sam. Five Gate Double Phoenix production. Oh my god, that's crazy. Oh we got very fast pool here. Yeah. Really fast pool. This was a something that Zerg did a lot on this map because uh of the, but it was mostly a Terran thing because it was about um, the float. So here, uh, I'm guessing Narwhal just wants to be a little cheeky. Yeah, maybe have a little bit of poke. There's not. There's a small ramp as well, though, up into the natural. It's, it's not the biggest ramp, so I don't know. I don't know what he's thinking. He sees no. I think Sam's going to scout it. He is going to scout. This is a lovely scout here by Sam, and seeing all the. No, oh, wait, no pool yet. Oh, yeah, he, he sees, sees the, links. the links. Okay, he sees the links. Did he see them, though? Did he see them? Yeah, okay. He doesn't he see the pool. Them, did he, see them? he hasn't seen the pool. He still hasn't seen the pool, and I don't know if he scouted them. I've just checked on my view. Um, no, he hasn't seen them, so... These links are coming across. What's going on? This, this... Tense. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. He's He's gone up to the gold! He doesn't know about the links! He honestly doesn't, because he hasn't just got up to the goal to think, where, where, what's going on? And here they come. And they've got in, there's Owie no goes. wall off, and he's going straight for that pylon, and Sam is like, oh my god, I have six Zerglings, he should focus down this pylon no matter what, just... And he gets it, and he's just now going to run these links around, he's so blocked now, he's trying to get the wall off, which is a nice little wall off, but he's lost the mining time, he's... Oh, he's taken one pro, gone down. Nice so little... he's not going to... This isn't going to be Two catastrophic pros. for him in terms of in terms of complete loss, but um, I mean, he's the wall he's off is now the so wall off is now solid. Yeah, yeah. it's a full but the wall. Thing is, so and he's got four probes coming down. He's got load of gas, but no cybernetics core researching. He's forgotten warp gate tech. We've got a third base coming up for Narwhal, and. Oh, now he's got the warp gate. He's got an adept on the way, but he can't stop them killing I mean, this pylon. Kill the kill the pylon, and then get in and run this adept round. Well, he needs to kill that ling and then build a gateway or something. Yeah, if it, he's he's gonna lose oh, a pylon. Oh, he's not gonna do it. And yeah, he's not supply blocked. He's now supply blocked. He can't he's got build. Got four hundred. Okay, he's good. Yeah, he's, he's got a lot of minerals. But. He can't take a natural now, because these Zerglings are going to delay it so much. Now, Narwhal is in such a commanding position. He's up for workers. He's up on army supply, obviously. He's got a lot more minerals. So he's now going to pump out. What he needs to do is pump out queens, queens, and queens. Get that mass creeps spread. And if he goes for it, he's going for a four gate all in. No, he's not. It's a gateway. It's oh, a, Stargate. It's two Stargate. gateways and a Stargate. So he's going for a three adept Phoenix or Oracle. Oracle will bring him back. But if he gets out a couple more queens on each base, he's transferring to the gold, which is nice, I like to see that. I mean, uh, Narwhal knows that Sam was going for a slightly early second gas. So, or at least a two gas build. So he should know that unless he really did 
a ton of damage, it was probably going to be something like a Stargate, or have an inkling that a Stargate is a distinct possibility on this map. Uh, we'll have to see. Oh, it's a Void Ray. Oh, wow. I've seen this done quite a few times before. They get like, two or three Void Rays, and they just literally focus down the hatchery and pull back. Oh, well, you mean the gold? Is he expecting the gold? But he yeah, doesn't have that scouted. Yeah, of course he will be expecting the gold. Of course mm. he will be. You can't Because there's that nice, uh, nice back cliff. Yeah, there's good airspace. Yeah. Where you can't, it's very difficult to access. I think he could, he could make this work. Basically, it's going to be three gate, stargate. Looks like it's going to be what a one base all in. It's got to be. He can't. He's too late for his naturally. He's now pushed across four adepts, one void ray. And you got the Roach Ward bailing nest. He's cancelled the lair. He was going up to the lair. He's cancelled that. And he's not producing anything. He now sees this Void Ray coming out. But he saw it with the Ling anywhere on the tower. So this could actually do some damage. Yeah. Uh, army values. Well, I mean, Sam oh, has, has definitely out. a gas value advantage. He's only got, he's got nothing. He's got eight Lings on the way. That's nothing. He's supply blocked. After this overlock, he's got four, five queens. Okay, that's what I said about earlier. Queen, 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 queen. But these adepts that's quite needs good. to shade into the main. No, they're going to stay back. They're going to pull back. They're going to attack the... Um, he hasn't even got speed yet. He's going to attack this third base now with two void rays. And yeah. he's got enough energy I mean, the, on that for recall. The third, the third is a good pickup, um, but it looks like he's going to continue to commit to this as an all-in, and I'm not sure that uh, Sam can actually push up this ramp. No, not with five queens there, not with roaches on the way, not with a lot of bailings on the way. Oh, what's he doing? No! All these ravens are going to get a wrap around on the adepts. He's focusing down one queen. He's just the one. No, he gets transfused. Bailings come in, take out all the adepts on the ground, and the void rays are pushed back at one with only a smattering of HP left on that one void ray. He's got third base coming up as well, so he's no way is he dead at all. He's got three void rays, but they are glass cannons. They die to queens. You can't say that, folks, from anything. I mean, the gold base pickup is nice, though, and if he picks up on that there's a new third to the south, he can deny that. Has he well. got vision of that? Let's have a look. No, he hasn't got vision of it. He's going to take out some more overlords. He's going to save it. Oh, nice little save there with the transfuse on the queen. So, oh, mothership saving. Let's save him. But he's got... He's, I don't know what he's going to do now. He's got literally only void rays producing. He's got a twilight council on the way off one base. He's walled himself in, so he's now killing back with the... Oh, he's going to go... Oh, he's oh, killing his own Z-Lot! Oh, poor little Barry. Barry on the own. Rip. No, he survived, so he's good. He's good. He's like, I've seen things, man. He's not expanding. The only thing I can think of here is that he's going to get charge. Yeah, he's got to get charge uh, and go in for a one last hurrah. That's all he can do. He's going for the gold base, and he sees it with this leg. Oh. Does he see it? Does he see it? Does he see? No, he doesn't see it. He doesn't see it. So with that okay. one link, doesn't see it. So he's got to know it's going to be there. He's got to know. This creature head, though, with all these queens, is pretty lackluster, if I'm being honest. Well, he was saving energy for transfuses, and he did manage to save a couple of queens and then a couple of overlords from void ray attack. So, yeah, you know, true, true, creep true, isn't true. as good, but he saved those units. I think that's What's he's saturation probably pretty happy with that. Like on these two bases, he's got 39 workers. Can we have a look at the saturation, please? He's got fine saturation on the main. Oh, this... Oh, go back to the attack. Where are you going? Where are you going? Oh, he's killed that small crawler. He's going to kill the bailing nest. That's just going to melt. Look how much damage yeah. these do. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh, he skills it. He gets it before the recall. Seconds before the recall. What a hit there by the skill shot. Oh, oh my god. Good lord. And he's getting hydrated on the way. Yes, he's getting the gold base, but he's got... Three base production of two base economy. So he's got a lot of queens. Let's get this let's get this creep highway going. I feel I feel for uh, for Sam on that. That was uh Iyer just cried out and uh, and then was silenced. The pain of losing uh what was it probably about two void rays and the uh oh, and the Mama core? Core? Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry my overlay, I didn't do the I didn't do best of three one one, sorry. I'm not used to this, guys. I'm not used to this overlay. It wasn't me. Oh, these queens quite out in the middle of the map. There's transfuse energy, though, and you've got... Where's this war crawler going? I don't know, but... He's literally... I mean... Narwhal's going to walk across this map and just bomb him. 
He's got double supply. I mean, you can say that some of this is inefficient because it's in roaches, not the best use of supply, but... Uh, he's got a lot of hydrogen. Yeah. How many he can, he got? He's got a really good chance of denying this gold if he wanted to. He's got 12 hydras, 17 roaches, 4 ravages, and 1 zergling, and 6 banelings. These banelings need to be worried, because they could do a lot of damage. Oh, these the hydras are in the open. Oh, no. Strangely enough, though... If uh, if Sam can defend, and I'm not saying he necessarily can, he's actually oh, got a chance to look at all Oh, you got a referendum of the Queens, but they're all going to go down. Void Ray's going down, Zealot's going down, the army's going to move across, and it is going to kill. That is going to be GG. That is surely GG for our Protoss player, Savage Sam. He knows there's no natural. He's going to go up into the gold, see this, and go, Hello, what's this over here? And then go, nom, 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 nom. There is no mothership core on the map. He has 24 probes. Sam is probably just sitting here going, No, I cannot believe this. Gold base goes down. That is all she wrote. Thank you. Good night. And it's a little bit cliche, but those were some beautiful corrosive biles, tasteless. Oh, they were. They were for sure, for sure. Oh, my God. Uh, Artosis, we are here in another epic ZVT between Narwhal and Savage Sam. And he is... I'd like to see him dance the roaches, if I'm being honest. I'd like to see the dance. But I don't think the BM is going to be strong. Savage Sam just can't believe what happened. He had this game. He had the third base, but... Uh, he, he's in disbelief there, guys. He's in disbelief. This is this is not not fun. Oh, and he's dear. probably going to be kicking himself a bit for scouting the uh, scouting the pool first and not uh, he didn't not scout effectively it. reacting to it. He didn't well, scout he it. Well, he saw it. He did. He saw it, but didn't see it. Oh, he didn't or he see scouted, it. Yeah. But he didn't see it. He wasn't looking. GG, thank you very much. That's all she wrote. So we have a 2-0, no, 2-1, sorry, victory two for one. Narwhal going into this first best of three. So congratulations, Narwhal. Commiserations, um, Savage Sam. We are going into a interview with the winning player shortly, guys. But I'm going to take a five-minute break. Brett's going to keep you company. Thank you ever so much again to Skyhook for um, observing that game. And I will see you in two minutes. Well, guys, I guess we can all we can say from that game or series. Congratulations to Narwhal. Congratulations as well to uh, to Sam. A little bit of an unfortunate uh, unfortunate event, especially with that game three. He had all the information he really needed if uh, uh, if only he'd happened to see it. I'd reiterate that uh, with a dream pool or alternatively a cancer pool that we happen to use that we may see some lopsided results just because some of these maps have been out of the ladder for so long that who knows how balanced they are versus various races. But I think uh, Sam definitely showed us an ability to uh, play some pretty sick games. So congratulations to him, and he's definitely not out. All you Sam fans, he'll be back. Another chance to uh, to pull himself up in this group. But Narwhal, congratulations to him. He'll go forward at 1-0 in his matches. And will challenge for the top of his group. And in quite convincing fashion, especially in that game three. So I'm gonna see if we can get uh, get Narwhal set up for set up for an interview. Okay, guys, I'm back. Ever so sorry for that. So, while we just talk amongst ourselves and get some, uh, get this interview on line, we are just gonna play you some music and see what we can see what we can do. So, guys, we will get back to you ever so shortly. Please enjoy the music, and we'll see you soon.
got him. He's here. Okay, guys, that was short, that was sweet, and it was nice and easy. So we are joined here by the winner of that game. It is Borgosu's Narwhal. How you doing, sir? Hey, guys, what's up? Uh, pretty good. Game one was shaky, but, you know, fixed it up and came back in the last two. Yeah. So how does it feel? i got to ask as a top question. This is your first time playing on the... Uh... The field of dreams, or the maps of dreams. How how did it feel uh, going into some of these blasts from the past with the uh, legacy uh, units in balance? I mean, I kind of love it. Yansu, I just threw like going into Yansu was weird. I really didn't prep for the map too much. Uh, I was kind of figuring someone else would veto it, so I didn't worry about vetoing it either. Um, so I went in, just tried some bane drop with an attack in front. Really didn't work, uh, and then. From there on, overgrowth. I mean, I saw it in what GSL. They had overgrowth in GSL, right? Well, one of them, one of the Korean leagues. Uh, so I got some pretty good ideas from that. I have some more builds for overgrowth, so I'm really liking that map. Um, and then the last map, Habitation Station. I, I told myself at the beginning of the series, if I got that map, I had the 12th pool. So <laughs> it's pretty fun. Uh, it was. Uh, it was definitely a case of trying to reconnect with some of the old strategies and pick up some kind of new ones. I mean, I, I for one, loved seeing Ravager's corrosive biling uh, Mothership Cores and stuff on Habitation Station just because the, the, the Mothership Core Void Ray was something we've been used to seeing uh, on that map from from HOTS. It's kind of like a little bit nostalgic for me. Uh, so that that was just uh, that was just really cool. Um, did you did you want a 12 pool on that map just because of like the, the map just construction? Just yeah. I mean, yeah. 12 pool and Protoss is so strong on the current map pool, and then the rush distance on Habitation. I mean, you, you kind of have to, you know. Yeah. How do you go into you know preparing for for this type of of uh, these types of games? Are you are you scouting really hard against your uh, other people in your group? Are you focused on your next match specifically? How how do you? What's your mindset? Mindset really, uh, I kind of just try to play towards the maps. I, this is an in-house in team week, so I do know the players a fair amount, so scouting really isn't necessary. So I can just kind of focus on what caters to the map the best and then counters my opponent. Um, I mean, when I got the group draw of Group of Death, it was just like, all right, so I have to basically prepare for everything. So I just kind of sat back and took any practice I can get and just did customs on the maps, I mean, really all I could do. And so with this map pool and in like the new meadow with uh, sentries being a bit less, uh, you know, not seen quite as often in uh, Protoss compositions, are Bailings the new indispensable unit? Because you got some sick connections. Yeah, for I sure. Mean, I mean, I like them sometimes. It depend. It honestly depends on the force field control of the Protoss. I really like it. You see someone like Dark in SSL just really skip Hydras completely, go Ling Bane, Bane drops everywhere on the army, on the mineral line, everything. So you see someone like him do that and rush to Broodlord, you're like, oh, okay, well, if he's doing that, maybe I can just fit him in somewhere else because sentries have fallen out. So if they don't have sentry control, I mean, those bailings connect and they do some work. So cool. going into this match originally, you, you said you talked about the group of death and everything else. Um, I spoke with Sam earlier before the match, and he said he was a little bit shaky facing you because he knows... And he specifically said about your strat in game one with the Baneling drop. And when that only killed three workers, um, did you think, oh Christ, I'm done? I've got to either, either drone out really heavily or just try and all in them again. What, what were your thought patterns when you saw you didn't kill anything off that um, initial drop? Uh, I kind of figured I was screwed, honestly. I yep. was like, this is game over. I'm just going to kind of play, and if something amazing happens, cool. If not, we'll go to game two. I mean, you did get, as um, Rhett was saying, because, you did guess... get some nice bailing hits, but that, that, um, yeah. that one Overlord with those units inside, with those two banelings above his army. I know, I got With an I immortal on... Everything... No, 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 listen, listen. With an immortal on 10 HP, 
or even less than that, and adepts, two adepts in the red. If you dropped those banelings when you had the chance to, when you F2'd it, you would have killed that immortal and those two adepts when they went up into yeah. your main. Yeah, um, I mean, like, at that point, I wasn't even aware what was going on. I lost my hatchery hotkeys. A lot of things were just not going oh, right in game dear. one. Um, so it wasn't, like, a thing of just, like, I'm not going to drop it. It was, I don't even have the attention for that right now because I don't have my hotkey set. Okay, okay. Um, but, I mean, that game, like, when the first attack ended, when the first attack didn't work, I was just like, you know, that's all I had planned. We'll move on to game two and go from there. The only thing I can do. Did you have a specific build order for game number two? Because that map, man, that's a blast from the past again. And you didn't go as greedy as you did in the first game. You kind of done up. But when you saw the Phoenixes coming in, they were coming in two by two. I mean, we had some... Right. We had some Christian theme tunes going on and the ants go marching two by two, <laughs> but they were phoenixes and these things do a lot more damage than ants. Let's put let's put it that way. Um, so when you saw them coming in, what did you think? Did you think, oh Christ? Yes, you had the hydro tech on the way, but there was a lot of phoenix there. Uh, I mean, I knew Sam was going phoenix. Uh, I back to CCL season 12 when he was facing Solace in the grand finals we worked a lot on PVZ and I was one of his practice partners um, and we decided hey Phoenix is your best opener it's the best chance you got you know do something like that um, and I was always waiting for the Phoenix in the series I knew they were going to get there sometimes and luckily I've also had a really good amount of practice against Phoenix on ladder so I've I've fallen into a little easier rhythm, I guess, on dealing with Phoenix when I don't scout it, I guess. Okay. So it's not it's not too bad right now. It's just, it, it, when I first played against it, yeah, I was really screwed against, oh, hey, I didn't scout these Phoenix, and I'm not prepared. Now I know you just keep your Hydros at whatever base they spawn at, so you have about 13 or 15, and then you can move them all together, and then they're not, they don't get picked off one by one. So you've got, uh, with this win, a nice little 2-1, uh, you're set up uh, on top of the group, at least you know for the moment. Looking like you've uh, you've set the path to get out of the group, uh, get out of the group really, really well. Uh, do you have any kind of words for for your your opponents coming up, or for people watching right now? Uh, anything you'd like to to let people know uh, from uh, from what you've uh, experienced today? I mean. Uh, it definitely can take everybody off guard. The map pool, it's, uh, if, you don't, if you haven't practiced it, get some games in before your match, I guess. These, these maps are a little different, maybe shake things up a little bit. Uh, to my possible opponents, Skyhook and Charlie Sheen. Uh, Skyhook, you have to do something incredible to win, because I have Charlie taken a 2-0, unfortunately. Um, if you do win, learn to build SCVs, and Charlie, your DTs aren't anything. So either way, I'll win the next game as well. Wow, massive confidence there from Narwhal, really going on. Thank you ever so much for joining us. And we are going to go into match number two very shortly, and congratulations to you again, Narwhal. Hey, thanks, guys. I'll be in chat, so I'll see you there. All right, cheers. Thank you. Okay, okay. So that is...